Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today I'm doing a plan with me in my standard, in my standard, in my A6 Stalogy for the week of the 17th through to the 23rd of July. Casey breaks up from school next Wednesday and the kids break up on Friday. Ha <laughs> ha! So it's like my last couple of weeks of freedom and I'm like, <laughs> I love spending time with my kids, don't get me wrong, I do. But eight weeks with them every single day? <sighs> hard, hard work. I've decided to use this gorgeous kit from Rebel Inco. It was a subscription. I will tell you what subscription it was the May subscription in the standard vertical. You can go onto her website and order past subscriptions. And this is 18 pounds 50. Uh, it did come with like more stuff like journaling cards and other stickers and things like that. But I've just pulled out what I want to use for this. If you want to see what's in the whole kit, I have got, um, I record her unboxings every month uh, since the start of her subscription. So I'm going to be using this gorgeous kit and I will show you. So it's called Tranquil and it's got these gorgeous, gorgeous full boxes. Now I thought when she sneaked the artwork that I wasn't going to like it because of the carp. But she gives you so many extra boxes. I mean look at that double one. So you've got eight this is just different skin coloured full boxes so I know that I'm going to be able to use like I have more than enough full boxes to use and then you do get some little functionals down the bottom there then you get a shit ton of um, functional boxes you do get the wibbly wobbly boxes as well but I think I use them in my setup we've got another double box here some deco Monday through Sunday I love those I love the clouds. Lots of glitter headers. And then you've got your functionals, there's some checklists, more checklists, a weekend banner, uh, some Monday through. So I love the font on this. I love this like typewriter font effect. So you do get your washi tape as well. I've sliced mine because um, I like to use it in my salary, but you get washi and you're also getting some more headers, functionals and icons and then more functionals here. As well as all that, I bought in the extra boxes that you get with the kit and you get more functionals there. Some glitter headers, some date dots and some little like layering icon dots. And the washi that I've decided to go for, whether I use it all or not, I don't know, is this washi because I just think that it matches the kit gorgeously. So let's get started and we need the washi page, don't we? So if you have seen, um, I've done a midget planner lineup video. So hold on two seconds. This week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so that's the last page for washi. Right, yeah, I've done a um, mid-year like, planner update. I'm really, really excited. I am loving, absolutely loving both planners, the Take a Note planner and the um, Paper Test Designs one. The Paper Test Designs one, got, it's like nothing I've ever felt before in my life, the cover. I wish... I could do cover gram so so that you could feel how amazing right do I put this one next or this one next what do we think guys what do we think I think I'm gonna go with this one yeah, so um, I've really been enjoying using those. I'm going to practice some different like layouts and stuff. If you want to see me do videos, I'm just, you know, playing about in them. And like, because there's, there's weeks, obviously, because I'm starting in July. I've got the whole of um, January to July to play with. And I just like, all these companies are bringing out these planners. And I just wanted to like, um... To give some of them a go, basically, because I like change. I do like change. Right, let's do this one now. I do like change. And, like, the three... I'm saying and like a lot, aren't I? Sorry. The three that I've got going on at the minute, they're working fine. This one, 
the weeks and the cousin are working fine but there's just a small aspect of my planning which I could fit in here um absolutely fine I just I don't know I'm uh, I'm feeling the itch to jump ship so I've jumped ship but the, the good thing about using this time of year to change planners up is people are selling them at a really reduced price because, you know, it's coming up to the end of the year. And also, um, the companies themselves that are selling them, if they haven't sold out already, they're, they're massively reduced. Like the Take a Note one, I paid like half the price for. And the week, one of my lovely, lovely subscribers sent me um because i asked on one of my videos if they had any so yeah i'm really really happy with those so chris just came home for lunch she's having some lunch in the background that one that one that one back on this one um drama 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 this morning so i had a missed call from casey at ten past nine which is really unusual i mean i was awake but i, I wasn't looking at my phone so i uh what, do I do after that one? I do that one. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't looking at my phone. I'm going to use one of these now. Um, and then, so I rang the school. Uh, I rang the school. It's their sports day today, so it's like really hard to get hold of anyone. But I did manage to get hold of someone, and I was like, because I received an email saying she'd got a detention. And I was like, what she got a detention for? So I, I did ring the school. They said they were going to ring back. They didn't. So I waited about, I don't know, three hours. And I rang them back again. And then they said to me that um, basically Casey was on her phone in her um, form class. And the form tutor had asked her for her phone back. She refused to give it to him. Barged past him and swore at him. So obviously I was like, okay, um, that's unacceptable. I will deal with that. So Chris came home for lunch and we were talking about the uh, appropriate punishment for it. And then I get a phone call from the school again and it's from the head of behaviour department. And he says, oh, um, I'm just calling you to let you know that there's an investigation in place regarding something that happened this morning with Casey. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, I know about that. I spoke to the, um, I spoke to the, the um, I spoke to reception and they've told me what's going on. But what he said is completely different. So he said that, you know, straight away after an incident, we'll call it, has happened, Casey went straight to, to him, um, upset and said that, her form tutor had accused her of having her phone in class. She didn't have her phone. Her phone was in her bag. Uh, he then grabbed her bag and um, Casey was trying to get the bag off of him. And then he blocked her from leaving the classroom, which is completely unacceptable. Like that's, that's very intimidating for a young person like to deal with um, and that's why they're doing the investigation uh, the teacher in question is saying yeah I put my hand on the bag he's not saying he grabbed the bag but he is saying he put his hand on the bag and that's all you need to do really to be uh, and he the, the head of behaviour who rang me said obviously um, that isn't how the staff are supposed to deal with situations like that. Oh, I don't want to put that one there. Oh, I'm just going to have to. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's an investigation going on now and it's going to be done within 24 hours. They're just going to get statements from the other kids. Um, yeah, from the other kids that were there. And then, you know, make a decision on what's going to happen. Because uh, I, I can picture that situation. Like, if Casey's backed into a corner, she's very much like me. Um, we will panic. And um, I wouldn't say aggression is the first point of call. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chris is laughing in the background because it totally is for me. Like, I've got such a short fuse it's like i'm getting better i used to be terrible all the stories i could tell you um <laughs> stop laughing 
What story? What's the main one that comes to your head? Because I've got one that comes to mine. Bus stop one. Oh, the bus stop one. Yeah, no, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tell you both those stories now, aren't I? Oh, cringe. Yeah, so she panics, basically. Casey panics. If she feels trapped, she'll go into fight or flight. And what I think she did is she went into fight or flight. She tried to get past him, you know, to get herself out of the situation, which is acceptable if she's in that panic stage, if any child's in that panic kind of stage and a grown-up is, like, then grabbing, like, their bag and things like that, they're going to panic. That's what I think's happened. If she did swear at him, that's completely unacceptable uh, and she will be punished for that. But, yeah, we're just waiting to see the outcome of that. Uh, right, um... Ikea and bus stop. Oh, they're the worst ones. Why couldn't we have thought of anything different? Um, so, so bus stop drama. Um, I had a friend, uh, we're still speaking that, but we're not like best friends. Um, she lost a child, um, trigger warning for, um, trigger warning for anyone who's lost a child or anything just skip for skip forward uh, a little bit because i don't want to trigger you but she'd lost a child um she the child had been hit by a motorcycle and died and every year they do she they do something like letting off balloons or she'll put a post on facebook saying can everyone like hug their children and tag me in it and like she they why am I putting four boxes? Oh, I've gone different. I haven't put my date things down. Uh, yeah, anyway. There um, was a group of us that were friends and uh, there was one girl that I just didn't get on with at all and we weren't friends and, I, and I'm happy that we weren't friends. It didn't bother me at all. But there was a girl that was kind of in the middle. Um, she was friends with the girl that... I sound like a child. She was friends with the girl that I wasn't friends with, but um, she was also friends with this girl who'd lost a child. Basically, long story short, she didn't post the picture. She didn't post the picture, um, and everyone else did. So the girl that I don't get on with didn't post the picture, and then this other girl didn't post the picture, and I was, I was livid. I think I got too involved too quick because this this girl who I was friends with, she was around my house every single day, like literally every single day for months. Like it it got a bit too much in the end, but yeah, she was around my house every single day for months. So I saw what she was going through leading up to this time, this point. And I saw, you know, how emotional she was and everything. And it was like the day of the anniversary. And I was just like, I, I was just pissed off. I was really angry. I was hurt for her. Um, and I knew that this girl hadn't posted because of the other girl. So I was just, like, just really pissed off. So <laughs> we went to the, um, I'm so embarrassed now. Like I wouldn't, I don't know what was wrong with me at the time, but I do, it was mental health and I wasn't medicated properly. So I had really, really severe, like anger, uh, explosive episodes. Uh, that doesn't go there, but yeah. So um, I was walking to the bus stop. I was on the opposite, opposite side of the road to the girl that I like, we did get on with but was friends with the girl we didn't uh and uh, she was like hi you're all right and i was like don't fucking say hello to me i'll knock you out <laughs> and like then um that's all that's all i said is don't say hello to me i'll fucking have you i think what you've done is out of order then chris goes away a couple of days later not not knock at the door it's the police the police are at the door and i'm like hello and they're like can we come in i'm like yeah like my first thought was had something happened to chris but then they were like oh we've had a complaint of um of bullying bullying i mean i'm not a bully i'm not a bully i despise bullies and i don't really think that's bullying and plus i don't know yeah i just um so they came in and basically said you know we've had this complaint uh about bullying uh, can you just like you know stay away from her yada 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 and I was like I don't want anything to do with her anyway so yeah that was my um not one of my finest moments 
and another one like looking back like i know now that all of these because they were all in close proximity to each other and it was definitely a mental health problem i was like i, I didn't have any control like zero self-control I was um, using alcohol as a form of medication. So I was self-medicating with alcohol before I actually, you know, got the help that I needed and started being medicated. And now I'm a completely different person. But yeah, um, at the beginning, like, I had no way, I had no self-control at all. Um, and it would come out at the wrong times, at the wrong people. It would be tiny little things, tiny little things that now, when I think about them, I'm just like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. It's just like, why did you react like that? We went to Ikea and um, we bought something and then I changed my mind pretty quickly. So we went to the returns. And what, what annoyed me, I think, is the fact that we'd paid in cash and they uh, wouldn't give us the cash back. They would give us a credit. Um, and I was like, I don't want credit. I don't want to buy anything else. I want my money back. And they wouldn't give me the money back. So I literally stood in the centre. Like Chris had left with the kids at this point. So luckily they didn't see it. But I stood in the centre and I was screaming. I was saying how rubbish Ikea was. Um, like screaming at all the stuff. I was, I was psycho. I was absolutely so I'm not proud of any of this guys but I'm I'm saying it because you know people might be going through this people might um not understand like me with mental health comes many many um side effects and because of a lot of the things that had happened to me mine was aggression like I had a zero I went zero to a million in a millisecond like now I'm a lot better I'm a lot lot better um the kids and that they still um panic when i complain about something like we went to costa the other day costa's changed their um costa's decided to change their ingredients for the um like like milkshake coffees the frappuccinos or whatever they're called or frostinos and now they come and they taste like water and i was like i knew it was going to come and taste like that so i said to them when I ordered it on the drive through can you make sure it, you know, you use more ice because I don't like it runny? Uh, and they said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So it was me, Chris, and Casey that had one, and they came, and it was just like an iced coffee. And I was like, I was like, no, look, I, I said, I didn't want it to be watery. If I wanted an iced coffee, I would have ordered an iced coffee. Uh, Chris was like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll just drink it like this. Uh, and Casey. She said she would have been fine, but because I was already complaining, she um, gave me hers and we handed them back. And then we parked up and they bought out like one of the best ones I've had. But I had the discussion with Chris at the time because he was like, he he said, this is why I don't like going for the drive through You should always go in. And I'm like, what's the difference between going in and going through the drive through if you're going to complain? Like, to me... There is no difference. You're going to complain, so you're going to go through the drive through I'm going to use these underneath here for my highlights, I think, and stick a highlight front on. Um, yeah, so we just couldn't see eye to eye on that. I was like, there makes no difference whether I'm sitting in my car waiting for them to rectify something or whether I'm standing in a queue waiting for them to rectify something. I feel a lot more comfortable with anxiety wise sitting in my car waiting for them to um rectify something than i do in a social situation because in a social situation i would be like i'd be really panicky i'd probably have a panic attack um but things aren't cheap nowadays and when you ask for something when you're paying for something and it's not right i mean it's going to be a divided camp i think between my between all you guys and that because some people they just don't complain they never complain they just you know get what they're given and they never complain and then some people complain about absolutely everything and some people pick and choose if i'm spending money i will complain i like there's no there's no doubt about it i'm complaining um i'm not you know using my hard-earned money on a costa <laughs> and it not being like done properly so yeah i think Casey's got a little bit of that. I think all teenagers do. They have a little bit of bite or flight in them. 
uh, and I think that's what's happened this morning. So we're going to wait. It's funny because Chris came home and I'm like, right, Casey's done this. Get her iMac out of her room and her iPad. She needs punishing, yada, yada, yada. And then we got that phone call from uh, the school and then I was like, oh, put it back. Let's just see what happens. She needs to be punished for the swearing. Um, lately, she's been getting quite brave in the sense that she is she's pushing her limits with me and Chris with the way that she talks to us and things so um I did talk to her about it yesterday and for her then to swear at teacher although I reckon she would have done it I think it would have just slipped out oh, it's still unacceptable to to talk to adults like that uh, but I am glad that they're investigating it because I think they're taking it seriously that you know a teacher shouldn't be blocking uh, a child from leaving the classroom and they definitely shouldn't be grabbing their bags and pulling them about or whatever actually happened so yeah my 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 fight or flight is real you are Just saying bye bye Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why'd you put him there? Because I was lifting him up so uh, the Nico doesn't get excited. He's fucking well heavy. He is heavy. Um, <laughs> yes, so um, I need to wait and see what happens with that. I do feel a bit. Um, I feel sad for her because I know, I know, I know my daughter, and I know that she would have just wanted to cry her eyes out in that situation but she did the right thing she went straight to the behavior like head of behavior and told him what had happened and you know why she reacted in the way that she did and then he's obviously starting an investigation talking to the teacher in like talking to the teacher in question and then talking to Casey obviously and then they also will be um talking to other classmates as well because it was in front of the whole form which again could you imagine the embarrassment of that in front of the whole form like and she has been accused of being on her phone a few times when she actually hasn't been on her phone and you may question like how do you know she hasn't been on the phone and she's not lying because i just know her you, you know your kids and i know i know that um um people think oh you don't know everything no i don't know everything 100 percent, i don't know everything but i i do know when she's lying i do know I've, she's still got that tell of when she's lying so i do know when she's lying so i have got that um i have got that as like a backup i know when she's full of shit basically um what color should we use here let's use one of these ones so yeah that's all the drama that's happened this morning which i oh, just it's really difficult as well because I know we have to discipline our children, I know, and I know discipline is good and uh, they need it and I will do it, I will discipline. I just hate it. Are any of you like that? I hate it. Like we've got people over the road from us, um, they foster kids. I think I spoke to it about them before. Uh, they foster kids like um, in, their, uh, the, in their family, uh, they're members of their family um member of their family's children that they they foster or i've got a care order on or something but um they take their stuff off them for like months right that's it no electronic for months i just i can't i don't know chris is like right she loses it for, for two weeks and i'm like oh that's a long time what's she gonna do and i know that shouldn't be the problem i'm gonna use this weekend banner i'm not a massive fan of fish but it's so calming isn't it and i think it'll go nicely oh saturday I'll put it on Saturday. I think it will just go nice and calmly there. Right, so we need a, this week. So we need a YouTube YouTuber and an Instagram. So shall we use one of these boxes and cover cover up? Yeah, so it's like navigating this whole m mother motherhood. Uh, they're all clear. What we got in here? What we got in here? Oh, use these. Perfecto mundo. Yeah, I'm just, I don't like discipline because I don't want her to hate me because of, I've got, they're not going to fit. I've got a massive fear of her hating me 
because um, of my childhood but I know I've got to step up and I've got to be a good mum I've got to be the best mum that I can be so I need there's going to be there's going to be things that I'm going to have to do that I, I'm not going to like you know um, it's my job to raise her the right way and to be her mother not her best friend and I struggle with that I, I know I struggle with that and um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to learn from my mistakes and you know do 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 the best that i can do basically but it's it, it it is like it's hard it's hard i mean i know there'll be so many of you that will understand where i'm coming from uh you that have had like rough upbringings and things like that you don't want you don't want to punish your kids like you want to give them everything that you never had you want them to have the life you want them to always feel loved but part of loving what I've come to realise, a part of loving loving the kids is, you know, bringing them up the best way I know how to be fully functioning, kind um, adults. So I need to be their mum, not their friend. I can play with them, I can do things with them like friendly and stuff, but I do, I need to be their mum and I do find that really, really hard. Let me know down below if you struggle with it as well or if you've had any kind of like anger issues because of mental health. It was definitely my mental health that was causing it because, um, as soon, it sounds bad, but as soon as I, one of my medications that I take is an antipsychotic medication. So I'm medicated for uh, complex PTSD, uh, borderline personality disorder with aspects of bipolar and uh, manic depressant. And I think it's the borderline personality disorder aspect um, and the manicness of the bipolar that caused me to uh, be aggressive and since I've gone on to the antipsychotic medication which I've been on for years it's completely changed my it has completely changed my temperament but a lot of it is working on yourself as well like um, I can come across really really aggressive uh, people say when I when they first meet me like I've, I haven't got I haven't even got a resting bitch face but I can come across as really really aggressive uh, some people say and so you know I've had to work on that I've just that I've got this uh, little sheet of um, of uh, deco and I was just wondering if that would fit in there because it's beautiful um, yeah so and also I don't want my kids to see that kind of behavior and think that that's acceptable so you know I've worked hard to get to where I am and I don't even really drink anymore apart from when we go out and I don't really want to to be fair so that's a bonus right so we have done the basic layout of the kit so one thing I am thinking now is do I put my re reoccurring tasks in here I know I said in my um, um, mid-year plan lineup video I'm going to use this the same but I don't think I'm going to put my reoccurring tasks in because I don't put them in my memory plans like I don't put when Loki has gymnastics and things like that sometimes I do if I haven't got much to plan but it's mainly just a list of things that I do throughout the day so I don't think I need to put um, a list of reoccurring tasks in here I think it's just best to use for lists and things but I'm just thinking is there anything else that I want to record in here that will help when it comes to my weekly i don't think there is i think we're done i think we are done i mean i've got loads of stuff left loads of stuff left i'm looking at this deco here because it's so pretty i love that double box so you've got a double box there a double box there four boxes there three boxes there loads of functionals I've used like the washi but I've still got the thin washi and then we've got these functionals some headers more stuff here so that'll definitely do another spread but I just I think I'm happy with it I think I'm gonna uh, I need to catch up uh, I think I'm gonna just write what I do and if there's anything pertinent that I need to remember for the week but if I'm honest I don't go back to this page until the end of the week when I fill in these and nine times out of ten I forget about that that's why I like like about the take a note planner because 
you can put all your stuff down here and whatever day if you do a dutch folding door whatever day you're on you can see this list and the same goes for the paper test one my massive to-do list is here and then i will take the to-do list from here and put it in here with uh, what i want to do on the daily basis so yeah i think i'm just gonna keep it like that and i still get to use my stickers i still get to do monthly setups monthly resets and all that malarkey and then i just write down the main things that happen in the day it's not that repetitive really i just pick things out like filming and stuff that i want to put in my memory planner so this would just be what i want to go in my memory planner so completely random video that was wasn't it you've heard the worst of me You've heard the best of me and the worst of me. I mean, I'm an open book. So not everyone's perfect, guys, not even me. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or want to say anything, then please put it in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe subscribe and go along this journey of new planners and things with me i am aware that um, a lot of you want me and chris to do a live plan with me um we are we're gonna do it chris thinks it'll be really fun as well uh because he thinks he's a comedian um we just gotta figure out when it's the best time to do it really because um of time differences and stuff so yeah um thanks for watching this video and i will see you in my next one guys bye